time to prune and cut back is a wonderful time in the garden. And the more established the garden gets, the more pruning there is to be done. It depends, of course, on, on the plants. Um, I have a lot of roses that need pruning and I tend to cut back hard. So I don't end up with long woody stems, uh, but with a bush. The aim is always to create an open goblet shape so air can circulate through, which, uh, which prevents diseases. This week I also pruned back the fruit trees with the help of a neighbor who showed me how to do it properly. Here I am cutting back the almond tree. Now this is a fairly young tree so it's important to think of how I would like this tree to grow if I am aiming to get the fruits or if I am aiming to just let it grow up and high and huge and big and beautiful. Now, if it's to harvest the nuts, then uh, then of course the pruning is going to be in a certain way that is going to encourage the fruits to develop. But what I did was that I simply created some space in between, taking off stems and branches that were too crowded, uh, because I, you know, I I like to arrange flowers and I love flowering branches. And to be really honest, the almond is one of the most beautiful flowering branches that you can ever get. So I want to have a big tree because I'm after the arrangements and if I have some fruits as well and if I can restrain from hacking it back, um, then I'll be very happy. Um, interesting things happen when you prune. One, you of course cut back the old dead and decayed parts which may rot in ways that foster fungus that might harm the plant. Remembering always, of course, that not all fungus is bad. In fact, it is this family that is responsible for the tiny hair roots uh, or the root hairs to connect to the nutrients in the soil. Um, secondly, you prune back to let new growth happen. Now that is the job of the gardener. So how can we grow if we cannot rid ourselves of the old? Only by removing that which does not serve can growth happen. Only by letting go of the past can we move forward. And we, the gardeners of the world, are truly blessed that we can experience this every single day. We can live these universal truths every step that we take. And in a way, we are all gardeners, whether we tend to our soil or whether we tend to our soul. We are all transforming, creating, making space, evolving, growing, and then letting go again. And that is the beauty of life, the ebb and flow, the birth and death, the transformation and the awakening. <laughs>